Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. This is a little progress video on the hydraulic uh, forge press. So I'm going to start off today with this little catch up on the um, on the power unit. This is seven and a half horse Baldor electric motor, single phase that goes through uh, flex coupling to the 13.3 gallon a minute pump. So it's all fabricated up, mounted, ready to go. This is our return port here. This is a clean out, cool old uh, cast iron cover for that. And a little sight port. This is our filler. And this is the one inch um, weld on bonnet that I have to cut a hole and mount that a little bit off the deck there kind of mid column of the uh, hydraulic fluid and um, the cool thing about this is just a, a, a scrap find at, at local uh, metal recyclers uh, Floyd's in Tacoma uh, the neat thing about this tank is it has a baffle that runs lengthwise uh, inside the tank so that when your fluid is is uh, dumping back in there at 12 13 gallons a minute and it's all sloshing around that baffle cuts down on that and settles down the hydraulic fluid when it makes its way to the other side to the suction port there's no air or cavitation or anything like that it's getting a clean draw of hydraulic fluid into the pump so that's kind of neat uh, it's always neat to uh, be able to repurpose something like that especially in, it in something like this that it's it's specific to the purpose that I'm using it for so uh, some new life into a, uh, an old piece of equipment gotta love that so took a gamble on the controls for this see this here so what most guys use for their for their um, for their forge presses and they weld on all sorts of linkages and different ways of controlling this to actuate it back and forth. And uh, one of the things that occurred to me when I started to design this is, is, uh, is, is, is that range of motion, some, some guys actuating it by hand, um, and then other guys with levers, all sorts of mechanical levers and, and rods and everything, and they end up dancing back and forth uh, to actuate the ram. Uh, some 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 of them are actually really good and do a good job of it, but um, I started looking into uh, a different way of doing that, and I found a company, and they spec this out for me. They were actually pretty intrigued by the by the whole project here. So, uh, what I have here is a 110 volt electrically actuated spool valve, and. The way this setup works is it's not totally self-contained. You know, this is a nice small unit. Uh, you bolt it on, run your lines, and you're done. With this setup, your hydraulic ports are actually in the bottom. You can see that uh, with O-rings in them and four mounting bolts. And then that mounts onto this, uh, in, onto this pillow block. And those ports lined up with these holes all your uh, gauges and lines actually bolt into into this base plate and if you ever have to remove your spool valve for for maintenance service rebuilding whatever the case may be instead of undoing all of your hydraulic lines unbolting them you just pop off four bolts and your valve comes right off uh, nice little uh, hyd uh, pressure valve that'll mount on there and just the bits and bobs some plugs and uh, over pressure valve just for safety um, the other thing that I'll do in addition to um, a foot mounted uh, a foot operated switch I'll have this hand mounted hanging right off the side there and I'll be able to actuate the ram with those up and down buttons and could even just rock your thumb on those two buttons to uh, to actuate the ram up and down. Uh, the way I'm going to do it, 
is these micro switches. It's an industrial heavy duty uh, switches. So I have two of those and I uh, haven't figured out how quite how I'll do that yet either side by side or offset like that. Um, and, and my concept is is to have an enclosed foot switch when you slide your toe in that just a, a slight amount of up and down movement will uh, will actuate these switches make the ram go up and down a lot faster uh, based on the pump that I'm using and everything that that, that I spec'd out with the hydraulic guys uh, they they put this package together for me they're telling me that on the high pressure side I should be moving my ram about two and a half to two and three quarter inches per second which for a hydraulic uh, uh, forge press is pretty darn fast so uh, I'm really excited to get this thing put together and and see how this works and then of course uh, just a, uh, a filter for the return side keep the fluid nice and clean so that that's the control setup that I that I came up with. Uh, kind of took a gamble on this. Hopefully, it's going to work the way I think it will. Haven't seen this done by anybody before, and um, and so stay tuned for that. That's that's going to be really interesting to see how how this operates for me. And then did the final last little bit of welding on the um, on the inside of the top here, and uh, this one inch plate to the carriage. And then this just bolts on as adjustable up and down. So this is going to get moved into its final position today. And uh, the other thing that I'm doing is quick disconnects on the on the hydraulic cylinder. To the to the power unit is actually going to be mounted on the far side of the, of the garage wall, kind of back there where that other beam is sitting right now is where where the press is going to be. I'll run the hydraulic lines through the wall to the outside. And hopefully that'll cut down on the amount of noise, uh, the hydraulic whine, and I'll just run the uh, the lines inside to the to the to the cylinder. So that's uh, that's my update for today. Um, kind of excited about this. Hopefully by the middle of next week I'll have all the lines made up, everything plumbed together, ready to throw the switch and give it a try. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, I appreciate it if you want to click on that like and share always appreciated and uh, stay tuned when I get this thing fired up and ready to go I'll definitely uh, be posting a video of the first first operation and uh, and how it works on some metal thanks guys thanks for stopping by stay safe out there in the shops and uh, stay tuned for more bye